I do believe that female body count is really important to men. And I think if I were a guy, I would care about it as well. Here's why. I think that women who, I think that it's a sign of disrespect to yourself to not treat sex as something that has value. And I think that guys still value purity in women. I don't think they have to be virgins, but I think they value women who have been hesitant to put their bodies out there with everyone. In other words, they don't bed hop. Maybe they had a couple of partners, a few partners, but it was people that they really cared about. It was committed relationships. There was monogamy involved. It was a sign of self-respect that those women had because they weren't willing to just sleep with anyone. I watch these videos of girls now, young women, early 20s, and you'll ask them, what's your body count? And they'll say, oh, I don't know, 10, 13. 15 that's gross to me as a female all right so this is what we're gonna do um listen uh my brother brandon and division they were the first people to talk they've been waiting the longest i'm going to give the floor to brandon um for him to say whatever he wants to say if you want you can let uh division go first you can let division okay. go first. all right i'll let division go first i'm going to give division the floor uh for division to if division wants to just speak on something if he wants to address uh points or, um, you know, uh, just like kind of co-sign points that he heard other people say. And um, if anyone on the panel, if y'all want to like, you know, disagree with what he said or have a rebuttal, um, you are free to do that. So Division, go ahead, brother. Man, man, I, it was it was one thing that I wanted to address that uh, Danny said a minute ago, but I forgot. Um, but I, I did, I, I, I honestly forgot what she said, but just to like retouch on her whole like point and opposing to um, the topic at hand, I just, I don't understand how, like, some women don't see how valuable their body is and just to be able to just give it up so easily to, like, everybody, you know. Um, I just feel like having a high body count, it just shows, you know, you don't have any, um, like, self-control almost. And I don't, I don't see also how people don't see, like, how you don't correlate that to, a person not trusting in you to think that you won't easily cheat because if I know that you will sleep around with anybody and you know I do give you a chance and we in a relationship how do I know at the smallest inconvenience if we get into an argument or something that you won't go out and you go you won't go sleep with another dude you know because it's just like you already don't have that self-control there you already don't care about sex it's not that big of a deal to you so now I have to worry about, you know, again, at the smallest inconvenience, you would just go run out and, you know, sleep with some of anybody. Um, two, a lot of women, you know, their whole argument as well is like, you know, oh, it's a double standard, double standard. Just like Marty said, like a lot of different things out here are double standards. And that's just what, you know, some people just have to, I guess, deal with. Just prime example, socially, it's more acceptable if you see two women kissing versus two men. Like, if you see a picture of two women in a music video on social media, something like that, everybody will praise that, you know, they'll say, oh, that's bad, that's fine, that's this, that. But if you see two men doing it, you know, everybody be like, oh, that's nasty, everything. So it's, it's similar to, like, you know, body count. Like, us men, we're more of the, again, like the, you know, go-getters and things like that, where it's natural for us to, you know, I guess, have, a high body count or just sleep, sleep around with whomever versus like women again because they're the ones that's supposed to be in control of that they give the okay and the check to if you sleep with them so it's like if you giving these passes out to just everybody 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 it's like where's the value in that you know um i feel like i don't like if you if you are with the woman and then two another a big important thing is to socially you know especially if you're you know um you know, if you go out to clubs and this and that, who wants to end up at an event or a party or something with a lady or if it's a wife and then you in a room full of people that are, that are had sex with your woman? Like, that's embarrassing. That's literally embarrassing. Like, to know that everybody in this room that had you been able to experience your body, touch on you, know how you get down. Like, you know, you, you just don't have, you can't walk around with your head held high at that point because it's like, now I know that you're standing across the room in the back of your head at any given moment thinking about what my current wife done did to you, rather it been two days ago, two months ago, or two years ago. Like, so, I mean, I just, I'll respond to whatever somebody else say, but I just, I stand firm that, like, women should definitely, like, that whole sexual liberation thing, like, no. Yeah, uh, Marty, Marty and uh, Brandon, hold tight. Uh, we have two women on the panel. Um, starting with you, Danny, and listen, I'm going to give y'all an opportunity to 
um, address Marty when it's time to address him. But do you is there anything, Danny, that you want to respond to what Division just said? Uh, Division, not specifically Marty, because I've got I've got some things to say about what he said. You said you don't have anything to respond to Division. No, I was saying, can I respond to Marty or not? Not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Okay. 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 If you don't have anything to respond Uh, to, okay, go ahead. uh, Okay, so for for Division, I think I think it's interesting, you know, the way that this is kind of applied, where it's like, well, if women are doing this. They don't value sex. They don't respect themselves. They don't value their bodies. Like, why is that not a thing that applies to men? It absolutely is. It's about how you view and treat sex. Men can easily not value sex or they can. And having a high body count does not mean that every encounter of sex means that you didn't value it. Sex, like I said, has a lot of different motives. Some sex might have been casual. Some sex might have been for pleasure. Some sex might have been for deep connection and intimacy. Some sex might have been for learning and exploration. There's a million and one reasons, and it's about understanding why someone was doing something and why it was important to them that is so much more important than a a number. And also, like, I come from a very different world. Like, we're talking sex parties. You're like, who wants to walk into a room and see you know, people that has have been with your partners. I know people explicitly who love walking into a room and seeing them people be with other people and see them the next week and be like, oh my God, that experience was so great. You did such a good job while you were having sex with my partner in front of me. So like we are in very different experiences. I would say that whole like, you know, um, that whole like why they had sex thing, that 100% does not matter because when you go to a used car dealership, they don't worry about where that car was driven. It doesn't matter if that car was driven to McDonald's or if that car was driven to Bill Gates' house to go have a business meeting. At the end of the day, if that car got 200,000 miles on it, nine times out of ten, somebody's not going to be interested in that. So regardless of, of why women you know, are women supposed to have sex with, with all the like, Cars this break what down said, though, like, at a certain mileage. Women don't. That's not how women work. That that's just not how women work. But, and also, and, if you're yeah, going like, to be the type it's, of person who is going to value yeah, not, body count in women, women are if you're exactly hold on, hard, hold on, hold on. we need we need to address something. If you are going to be the type of man who values this in a woman, then you need to be responsible for the fact that if you view having sex with women as something that decreases their value, that by you having sex with people, you are actively decreasing their value in your mind, and you need to be mindful not to do that to people. If that's how you view sex, that sticking your penis in someone's so by your logic, that means you, that every it, by your logic, that means that everybody will walk around as virgins. By your logic, everybody will walk around and there will be no sex deal. Because how does that work? If I choose to have sex, with why? Women, why does this that mean that they might mean my, you're, you should be a virgin? But that does not mean everyone else will be. If you putting your you penis in someone though, that every time, increases their value, you should not do that. But that's so not how, how sex anybody has sex. Deal. sex Marty, 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 your Marty, 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 hold on, Marty, hold on, Marty. So again, like if I'm doing that, it, it's it's depending on how high that number is. So your logic doesn't make any sense because if I choose to have sex with a woman, it's okay if I'm number five versus if I'm num if I'm number five hundred. So by you saying that, oh, if I feel as though a woman's value is gonna decrease solely off me having sex with her, no, it's gonna yeah, decrease even more if I'm number if I'm number five hundred. And at that point, if it's that high, I'm not gonna have sex with her. But I so don't wait. Why. So wait. How does this work? Man number one only decreases her value times one. Man number two decreases her value twice as much. To, like to the each time. Like what logic is that? So you're every, saying you de- okay, you're so interacting with her as man fifty less term. impactful than your your I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say point 50, on her value is man five hundred. What? No, no, no. I said five, mm-hmm. and I mean just in more simpler terms. Who would be comfortable with, you know, um, sleeping with somebody that has 500 or being the 500 person that somebody is sleeping with versus being number five? Like by number five. And a a big thing, a part of this conversation that we need to understand as well, this whole body count discussion, it definitely ranges like, you know, with age as well. Like, you know, um, by age 60, 70, of course, you know, if you have a high body count or choose to run your number up at that age, like whatever you close to, you know, you know, uh, uh, falling off face of the earth anyway, so it is what it is. However, when you're younger, you know, 20s, 30s, and things like that, if you're if you have a high, high number, um, 
in comparison to somebody that's really, really old, especially in a short time span, it just tells so many things. Again, you don't have any self, you don't have no self control. Then at the ages between, let's just say, twenty to thirty, how do you have that much time on your hands to run up that many bodies? Sex takes time, you know, like especially if y'all are valuing it. So if you saying in your logic, like, oh, you know, a lot of women aren't just having sex with sex. Like, if, if they do have this high number, it's because of a relationship or things like that. Regardless, where are they finding the time to run up all these numbers? Like, you don't have a job. You don't have a hobby. You don't have other responsibilities. Like, nope. the only thing on your mind is sex, 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 sex. And if that's the case, we got other things to, you know, evaluate at this point. If your main priority is just sex, 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 sex. All right, you don't have nothing to evaluate with her. You don't. You don't have nothing to evaluate with a woman that's done that because you, there's no crosshatch. You don't have any business dealing with her. So whatever a woman chooses to do, ladies, I'm not telling you not to do what you want to do. I'm just informing you of what reality is, so you understand the consequence of your choices. I I, I don't think that you don't deserve a person because you you you've uh, ran your body count up. You can get a guy that doesn't care about that. It's just harder to get men to want to marry you because marriage is a traditional concept. So men who value marriage mostly have traditional values. And so those men who are more likely to marry, they are going to apply those traditional values when assessing a wife. So it's you can do what you want to do. And there's a lot of women like, oh, well, I know guys, they don't care to say none of those men are trying to marry you. So for you to try to put guys who want to be husbands in the same box as men who meet you at the gym that want to fuck you is is it, it, either it's a failure on your part to understand a logic of what's being said or you're being disingenuous right but it, it's it, they these are two clearly different types of people a woman that goes out on a date with you because she just wants you to pay for dinner versus a woman who wants a husband has a completely different value for you as a man those two aren't the same women and those two aren't the same men it's not hard all right. Uh, I, Martin, I don't think it's fair for you to speak for men that are not like you. Time out, time out, time out. We're we not addressing him right now. One second. Uh, Danny, well, please go ahead and mute up. Aaron, do you have any, do you want to address the vision on anything, Um, you know, before we move on to Brandon? Um. Yes, I just got a few things to say. I just think it's very weird. Like this, these social norms that we created and these double standards that we created are retarded. Like as a woman that was raised by a man, a very promiscuous man at that, I just don't see how y'all, not y'all, because I'm not saying y'all um, in general, but the men who think like this, that feel like, oh, if a woman is out here sleeping with a bunch of men, she's not valuable. But a man who's out here sleeping with a bunch of women still has the same value that's that does not make sense to me that doesn't make sense to me at all how do you expect women to continue to hold their value if you out here deflowering everybody like you're literally out here doing what you don't want like that does not make sense to me hold it on, hold on Mark. I, I want them to address the vision i'm okay. going to I'm going to give you the opportunity to address you. I just want them and to. And I understand, like, what Marty was saying, like, oh, this is the world that we live in, you know, and to be logical and understand, like, oh, this is the, the atmosphere that we created, right? But does that make it right? Which should we continue to, to walk in that path if just because we've been doing it? Like, that doesn't make sense. If you don't want a hoe as a wife, why are you a hoe? Okay, and why so, is it not the same thing as if I don't want a hoe as a husband? Y'all saying like, oh, women want men that a bunch of women want. I don't. I want my man to be attractive. Yes. I want him to have options. Yes. But I don't want everybody to want him. I don't want him to want everybody. I don't want him to be outside hunching on everybody. They got two legs. Like, I don't want that. Okay, Aaron, Aaron. And then, and then I'm going to let division. I'm going to let you speak. And then we're going to move on to Brandon. So, Aaron. Okay. When we be having these conversations, especially on my platform, a lot of people always try to, a, a lot of women always want to individualize it to themselves, okay? We are not talking about you specifically. We are talking about the majority. We are talking about the greater overall group, okay? Like I said, the woman on the college campus, despite the fact that they have much more access to Tom that just goes to class and goes to the CAF and goes to the rec center, they are more attracted and want the, the, the running back on the football team. 
They want the point guard. They want one second. They want the point guard on the basketball team. Okay. If me and Michael B. Jordan are in the same, are in the same vicinity, we're in the same club this Friday. Women clearly have more access to me. Me and Michael B. Jordan both have a section. Okay. If I ask you right now, and I want you to answer this 100% honestly, hopefully you can do it. Are the women are the women going to be trying to get in Michael B. Jordan's section, or are they going to be trying to get in my section with me and my guys? They're going to try to get in Michael B. Jordan's section. Okay, so why are they trying to get in Michael B. Jordan's section when they have much more access to Noble and Noble's guys? Why are they trying to get in Michael B. Why why are they trying to get in Michael B. Jordan's section? So uh, uh, hey, it's a it's a, one, sec one second, Danny. One second. It's a hundred <laughs> girls. It's a hundred girls. Trying to get it, it's a hundred girls in general admission, and there's all these different men in VIP right now. If Michael B. Jordan wasn't there, they wouldn't be thirsty to get in anybody's section. But Michael B. Jordan is there, so we want to be with Michael B. Jordan. We come here all the time, we don't ever try to get in anybody's section. But Michael B. Jordan is here tonight, Drake is here tonight, we want to be in a section with them. And 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 all you and all your friends is not going y'all like Marty said y'all are never going to marry that man you never going to date that man like I always say you are going to be tooted up with your head in the pillow and you are going to get sent home in an Uber but, but you would rather be with that guy versus me. you would rather be with that guy versus Tom and Earl so so go ahead so I, that's, that's what that's, I'm saying I just don't. Why is it you, not the same for me? When you say why is it like that? Because you women make it like that. You I, women I mean, make it like, it like that. that. I don't think it's made. You're not going for her too. It's the same thing. Yeah. You're saying I, you're I, look at the average woman when there's a, a model, an actress, someone famous. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay. Let me let me let me address that. Let me address one second, Marty. Let me address that. Men men are very much more men are very very much more realistic when it comes to quote unquote shooting their shot and if if noble or brandon or division or marty if any of the men on this panel right now or any of the men in this chat were looking at the average everyday woman that's available to them and more than suitable for them but we're trying to make it seem like they were invisible we're trying to make it seem like they were too good for them and we're saying stuff like i need a woman like j-lo i need a woman like rihanna i need a woman on their level you women are the same ones that are very quick to tell men like you're you're delusional, you're unrealistic. How much money do you make? Who are you? This, that, and the third. But when we have these conversations, and men tell you to be realistic, tell you to stop being delusional, tell you to stop looking at the men that are readily available for you and more than suitable for you, like the dirt beneath your feet. Y'all are like, oh, you're bashing us in this, that, and the third. And that's why these women grow old. They get in their mid-30s. They get in their early 40s with no man, no kids. And now, they, now they're now they mad at men. Now they hate the world. Every man that has an opinion on dating and relationships, they're a Kevin Samuelite. They're gay. They don't like their mom. They don't like their sisters, this, that, and the third. Tell me, the woman, both, tell me what I'm saying is not facts right now. I think a lot of the things that you're saying is things that we have been taught but they're not right it's not right i don't see i don't understand why there's this double standard if you could go outside and fuck 100 people and i could go outside and fuck 100 people why is my value different than yours we gonna catch the same stds we could possibly create the same amount of babies like well not the same amount of babies because you could create more but again like why is it why is it different why? I get because, what you're saying by be, like because, hold on, hold on, Marty, Marty, let the vision talk. Let the vision talk. Go ahead. I, I get, I get by logic why you know a woman will feel like, oh, it's unfair, and why it's not the same. But again, it's just something that's unexplainable within society why these things are the way that they are. Prime example: you as a woman, you know, if you if you had a sleepover, you know, um, and you sit on your friend lap or something. Uh, y'all, you know, twerking on each other or something. That's going to be way more acceptable to society. That's going to be cool. You're not going to want your man at a sleepover with his homies and they sitting on each other's lap and they twerking on each other. You're going to feel like that's weird and stuff. Same way you feel like it's weird that we, it's this double standard. Certain things in life have double standards and that's just is how it is because your, your boyfriend could turn around and be like, 
oh, well, I think it's weird that, you know, you think that it's weird that I can't sit on my homie lap or I can't talk on my homie. You're going to look at him like, what the fuck? Like, so at the end of the day, it's certain things that are out here that's unexplainable that just cannot, you know, be given an answer, a full lengthy answer to like, okay, well, you know, this shouldn't be that. Like certain things are just the way it is through nature, you know? So like, I understand, you know, your logic and I understand that it is a double standard. However, it's just more acceptable for men to have higher body counts or just to sleep with whomever versus women. Y'all, you, you, you do realize us men look at you women like, you know, y'all are very valuable. Y'all are very um, precious, you know, and things like that. So when you look at something like it's so valuable and precious, then, you know, you want to cater to it and, you know, you want the best for it and you just look at it like it's so delicate. Those are things that should not just be, you know, passed around in any bum's hands or just passed around and, and letting anybody touch on and have access to, you know. And it's like, if you just let it, again, if you let anybody touch on you and things like that, then what does that say for me? It's like, well, could I really beg you? Or is I'm just, am I just another body to you? You know, like some men look at that. It's like they don't feel as important if you just sleep around with anybody because they feel like, okay, well, I don't know if, you like me for me, or again, you just sleeping around and, you know, doing whatever. So it, it's also based on, you know, having a high body count tells, like, you know, your interest in somebody too. Like a person would be confused not knowing if you really like them for them, or again, you just looking at them as another number. So like I said, it's just a double standard that just is, is a way of society, basically. All right. Time out. Um, Aaron, please mute up. Um, Division, thank you so much uh, for being on here, brother. I very much appreciate you. Um, you have a good night in the interest of time. I'm going to move to uh, B train. So thank you, Division. I'm going to drop you, brother. You have a good night. Most definitely, bro. All right, bro. Uh, Brandon, go ahead, bro. Yeah, okay. So again, the subject at hand right now, we're talking about body count. Like taking in the, uh, taking in the you know, the video that you got, that you had played earlier. We're talking about body count and does body count matter? Again, body count absolutely does matter. The amount of people that you have been with is a very is when men take that into consideration when they want to be in a relationship with you. So with that being said, I'm going to give a I'm going to give a I'm going to give a quick example, because a lot of people say, um, well, uh, these hoes out here, you know, still getting wiped up. All right. So you think do you really honestly believe that you say you marry a dude? Right. And then let's say month or so years down the line. He find out somebody sent him, you know, a video of you from college just getting a train ran on you or whatnot. Do you think that man is still going to feel the same way about you knowing that this is this happened to you? He doesn't care that it's the past, that it happened in the past. He's going to be like, damn, he's going to look at you in a whole different light. His feelings for you are definitely 100 percent going to change. Y'all can say he insecure. Y'all can probably in the comments say I'm projecting, but I really do not give a damn. But the reality of the situation is it absolutely does matter. You can say, oh, well, a man can have the same thing, but a woman can't. But yeah, that, again, that is the double standard. That's the reality of the situation that we talking about that talking about right now. That is reality. It's extremely delusional. Again, nobody is telling y'all that y'all cannot have as many sexual partners as y'all want to because Y'all are human. Y'all adults. Y'all can make whatever decisions you feel necessary to do in your life. Nobody's telling you what you can and can't do. The only thing that a lot of people are coming up here and saying is you have to be realistic with the actions that you made on how they are going to impact your future. That's that's it. At the end of the day, that's that's the truth of the whole situation. That's the reality of the situation. Uh, Danny, please stay muted. Aaron, do you do you want to address um, B train on anything that he just said? Yes. So I get what y'all saying. I wholeheartedly understand what y'all saying about the reality. Some men are going to view you as a woman differently based on how many sexual partners you have. I completely understand that because I view men the same way. Like I look at men and say, oh, you had a whole bunch of sexual partners, something to offer you. So I don't want to fool with it because I don't think that you value intimacy and sex the same way I do. And that's why I understand what y'all saying about basically being evenly yoked with people. Like y'all have to have the same morals and the same values. Y'all got to think alike for it to work out. But we cannot sit here and pretend like men don't like hoes. 
We can't see. y'all find them. Let, let him finish. Let him finish. Hold on, hold on, Marty. Hold on, Marty. Hold on, Marty. Hold on, bro. Oh, damn, you talking to him. Hold yeah, on, say, let him finish. Let him finish the statement. Y'all fund them. Y'all love them. Y'all pay for it. Like, I don't understand how you can really sit up and say, like, oh, I'm not going to marry a hoe. When strippers get married all the time. Porn stars get married all the time. Like, ho the neighborhood hoe get married all the time. The woman with five baby daddies get married all the time. So... And I'm not saying that these are the type of women that y'all want. I'm just speaking in general that these women are getting married. These women that y'all saying have no value are getting married. They marry. They have husbands. So what's the difference between her and a woman who didn't go outside and have sex with a bunch of people? That is, ex again, that's like he was saying, the, the snake with two heads, the dog with three legs. That's, that's, the, that's, that's the same energy that you just gave. That is not realistic to say that all of y'all can just have as many sexual partners that every every porn star is just going to get married. That's not realistic. That's not a that's not a realistic thing to say. Men do like hoes. Men will sleep with hoes. But to say that the overwhelming majority of men are going to marry a hoe is crazy. That's not right. realistic. Right. And I, I said I that I said that the other night. And that's and that's. And that's part of, that's part of like the bigger that's part of the bigger problem. Even in 2022, grown women have a hard time discerning men that just want physical relations with them against like they'd have a hard time discerning men that want 30 minutes with them versus men that want 10 years with them. I don't know why that is, but that is that's that's a whole nother topic. Um one second, Marty. Um, Aaron, do you have do you have anything or uh, B train? Is there any is there any last things that you want to say, brother? No, nah, I'm good. All right, thank you, brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, appreciate you have a great night. Yeah, you too. Uh, Marty, one second. Um, uh, Aaron, um, yeah. Aaron, um, do you have any um? Uh, please, please say your last words. Um, touch on whatever you want to touch on, please. Um, so the last thing that I just want to say is that, like I said, I understand y'all's perspective on saying like, this is the world that we living in and this is reality, whatever the case may be. But I just think that this, these are things that we have to unlearn as a people, like that everybody, like y'all saying, everybody don't fit these boxes or these is specific scenarios that the most of the time, the average, the most average men want these basically pure women and whatever the case may be. But I just think that the way we move about this situation and this body count or like a woman's sexual liberation versus a man's sexual liberation, it should be one, one standard because yeah, again, well, no I, double we, standards for that. Hold on, Marty. Hold on, Marty. I just, I just don't think that it would be effective for a man to be promiscuous, but expect a woman to not be promiscuous. The woman that he wants to settle down with or whatever it can be, not to be promiscuous. Like, just like how y'all saying a woman, you can walk in a room with your wife and she might have fucked five niggas in that room, but then it's vice, it's the same thing. We walk in a room no, and I'm with not. my husband, but he slept with five women in the room. I don't want him either. I don't yeah. want him. Okay, but okay, you you that's cool that you might not want him, but again, the 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 the, the woman on the college campus. She knows that the running back on the UCLA football team has a lot more options when it comes to women than regular old Tom does. And she knows for a fact that the running back on the football team is exercising those options that he has. But she still wants him. OK, um, uh, Aaron, is there any last things uh, that you want to say? I appreciate you being on here. No, that's all. That's all. OK, right. thank you, Aaron. I appreciate you. Have a good night. OK, thank you. All right. Uh, listen. Um, listen, I have Marty on here right now. I have Danny on here right now. These are um, two very much intellectual beings. These are two people that I respect very much. Um, guys, I'm going to let them, before I recycle the box, I'm going to let them go back and forth for the next um, 10 minutes at least, 15 minutes tops. Um, you guys are going to enjoy this. But before we do this, I need to go run and take a piss. Um, and I don't want to miss anything. By the time I get back from taking a piss, um, get the likes up to 10K. Otherwise, I'm going to turn the comments off while they're going back, back and forth. Don't play with me. I'll be right back.